the anathemas of St. Philoxenus of Mabug against the Council of Chalcedon. Chalcedon is anathematized because the members of the Council contradicted the faith of Nicaea, introducing a different nature into the Trinity by proposing a fourth hypostasis. Chalcedon is anathematized because it has trampled underfoot the canons and prescriptions of the Fathers. Chalcedon is anathematized because the teachings which were established there have overturned the teachings of the Council of Ephesus, and in making a new definition of faith, the Council has fallen under the anathemas issued at Ephesus. Chalcedon is anathematized because it has corrupted the patristic doctrine and has received the tome of Leo. Chalcedon is anathematized because it has accepted the communion of the partisans of Nestorius, such as Ebus the blasphemer. Chalcedon is anathematized because in conformity with the doctrine of Nestorius, the members of the council have distinguished two natures in Christ, separated into their properties, and they have offered Christ two adorations, calling one God and the other man. Chalcedon is anathematized also because it distinguishes in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, natures and attributes and functions, and celestial and terrestrial qualities and divine and human properties. And it considers him to be two, and it introduces an idea of four, and it worships an ordinary man, and in every particular it finds him to be a creature, even as do the Judaists and the heathen. And it agrees with the wicked Nestorius, who is accursed and doomed to perdition. For all these, and for many other similar reasons, we have anathematized, and we will always, morning and evening, anathematize the council of Chalcedon. And Chalcedon shall be anathematized, and heaven and earth and all the church which has been redeemed by the blood and resurrection of God shall say that there shall be a curse upon the council of Chalcedon and upon everyone who has agreed or agrees therewith, except he has already repented or shall repent forever. Amen.